a world filled with distractions and competing priorities, there is nothing more vital than cultivating a consistent and thriving relationship with our Heavenly Father. The Bible is filled with examples of individuals who understood the power of steadfast devotion and the blessings that flow from a life anchored in God's presence. As the prophet Daniel demonstrates in Daniel 6 verse 10, now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home and in his upper room, with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God, as was his custom since early days. Daniel's unwavering commitment to seeking God, even in the face of adversity and opposition, serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of consistency in our spiritual lives. When we make the choice to prioritize our relationship with God and carve out time daily to commune with Him, we create a sacred space for transformation and growth. Just as physical bread nourishes our bodies, Jesus declares in John 6, verse 35, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. By consistently partaking of the bread of life through prayer, worship, and the study of his word, we feed our spirits and find true satisfaction for our souls. Moreover, consistency in our walk with God is not just about going through the motions. It is about developing a deep, abiding connection with our Creator. As we faithfully seek His face and pour out our hearts before Him, we cultivate a relationship that weathers the storms of life and draws us ever closer to His heart. The Psalmist beautifully expresses this longing in Psalm 42. One to two, as the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you. O oh God, my soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? When we consistently prioritize our relationship with God, we find that our desires and affections are transformed, and we begin to hunger and thirst for righteousness above all else. Furthermore, Consistency in our faith is not just for our own benefit. It is a powerful testimony to the world around us. As we live out our devotion to Christ day by day, we become living epistles revealing the goodness and faithfulness of God to those who are searching for truth. The Apostle Paul exhorts us in Philippians 2 verses 15 to 16 that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life, so that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain or labored in vain. By consistently walking in obedience to God's word and reflecting his love to others, we become beacons of hope and agents of transformation in a world desperate for authentic faith. However, the journey of consistency is not always easy. There will be times when we face obstacles, distractions, and spiritual opposition. In these moments, it is crucial to remember that our strength and perseverance come from the Lord. As the Apostle Paul reminds us in Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. When we rely on God's grace and power, we find the strength to press on and remain steadfast in our pursuit of Him. By consistently turning to Him in prayer and seeking His guidance, we navigate the challenges of life with confidence and peace, knowing that He is with us every step of the way. So, dear friend, let us embrace the importance of consistency in our relationship with God. Let us set our hearts and minds on things above, making the daily choice to seek His face and abide in His presence. My friends, may we be found faithful in the sacred disciplines of prayer, 
worship and the study of his word, allowing his truth to transform us from the inside out. And may our lives be a living testament to the power of a consistent and vibrant walk with our Heavenly Father. As we commit to growing in consistency, let us pray together, inviting the Holy Spirit to empower us and guide us on this journey. May we find joy and strength in the presence of our God, and may our lives reflect His glory and grace to a world in need of His love. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart full of praise and adoration. You are the Almighty God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. Your wisdom and power are beyond comprehension, and your love for us is everlasting. I magnify your holy name, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Lord, I thank you for the gift of life and the privilege to live this day in your presence. Your mercies are new every day, and your faithfulness is great. Thank you for the breath in my lungs, the strength in my body, and the soundness of my mind. I am grateful for your provision, protection, and the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me. I ask for your forgiveness, for my sins and the grace to forgive others as you have forgiven me. Lord, I acknowledge my frailty and the brevity of my life. Teach me to number my days that I may gain a heart of wisdom. Help me to live each day with purpose and intention, seeking to honor you in all that I do. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I will walk in your ways and follow your commandments. I bind every spirit of distraction, procrastination, and confusion in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the enemy's attempts to derail my focus and purpose. Lord, grant me the strength to resist temptation and to stand firm in my faith. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over my mind, body, and spirit. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I pray for your divine protection against every attack of the enemy, whether it be physical, emotional, or spiritual. I rebuke sickness, fear, anxiety, and depression in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your stripes, I am healed, and I claim complete restoration and wholeness. Lord, fill me with your peace that surpasses all understanding and guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Lord, I ask for your blessings to overflow in my life. Bless my family, friends, and loved ones with good health, prosperity, and peace. May your favor surround us like a shield, and may we experience your goodness in every area of our lives. I pray for wisdom, discernment, and understanding to navigate the challenges of this life. Let your Holy Spirit guide my decisions and actions, and may everything I do bring glory to your name. Father, I declare that I am blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, knowing that you are in our midst as you promised. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us and unite us in love and purpose. Strengthen our faith and help us to encourage one another in our walk with you. We declare victory over every trial and challenge we face, for we know that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Lord, 
I pray for consistency in my relationship with you. Help me to prioritize my time with you each day, seeking your face in prayer, worship, and the study of your word. Let my devotion be unwavering, despite the circumstances around me. I declare that I will hunger and thirst for righteousness, and my soul will be satisfied in your presence. Holy Spirit, empower me to live a life that reflects your love and truth to those around me. Father, I lift up my loved ones to you. May they also experience your presence and blessings in their lives. Protect them from harm and guide them in your ways. Fill their hearts with peace, joy, and faith. I pray that they too will develop a consistent and thriving relationship with you, finding their strength and purpose in you alone. Let your love and grace abound in their lives, and may we all grow closer to you each day. Lord, as we trust and hope in you, I thank you for hearing and answering my prayer. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and love. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus. In a world where the sands of time slip through our fingers like grains in an hourglass, there is nothing more valuable than the precious moments we have been given. The Bible resounds with the truth that our days on this earth are fleeting, reminding us to number our days and make the most of every opportunity. As the psalmist declares in Psalm 90 verse 12, So teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom, the brevity of life is a sobering reality that should compel us to examine our hearts and prioritize our relationship with God. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it is all too easy to become distracted by the cares of this world and neglect the most important thing, getting right with our Creator. The knocking of Jesus at the door of our hearts is a gentle yet persistent reminder that now is the time to surrender our lives to Him. The Bible is filled with stories of individuals who experience the transformative power of turning to God and making the most of their time on earth. The thief on the cross, in his final moments, recognized the preciousness of time and the urgency of getting right with God. With his dying breath, he cried out to Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom, Luke 23, verse 42. In that instant, he secured his eternal destiny and experienced the forgiveness and grace that only Christ can offer. Similarly, when we choose to prioritize our relationship with God and make the most of the time we have been given, we open the door to a life of purpose, meaning, and eternal significance. As 2 Corinthians 6 verse 2 reminds us, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The decision to embrace Jesus as our Lord and Savior is the most important choice we will ever make, with consequences that echo throughout eternity. Moreover, getting right with God is not a one-time event, but a daily journey of surrender and obedience. As we seek to walk in step with the Holy Spirit and live according to God's Word, we experience the joy and peace that come from a life aligned with His purposes. The Apostle Paul, who understood the preciousness of time and the importance of living for Christ, declared in Philippians 3 verse 8, Yet indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ. When we embrace this perspective and make God the center of our lives, Every moment becomes an opportunity to glorify Him and experience His presence. Whether in times of joy or sorrow, abundance or lack,
we can trust that God is working all things together for our good and His glory. As we seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, we can rest in the assurance that He will supply all our needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So, dear friend, let us not waste the precious gift of time that God has bestowed upon us. Let us heed the words of the psalmist and make the most of every moment, seeking to honor God in all we do. May we be found faithful stewards of the time we have been given, using it to love God, serve others, and advance His kingdom. As we embrace the preciousness of time and the importance of getting right with God, let us pray together, inviting the Holy Spirit to guide us and empower us to live lives that are fully surrendered to Christ. May our days be filled with purpose, meaning, and the joy that comes from walking in step with our Heavenly Father. And may we look forward with anticipation to the day when time will give way to eternity and we will dwell in the presence of our King forever. My friends, join me in prayer as we boldly approach the throne of grace with confidence, knowing that our God is able to do far more than we could ever ask or imagine. Let us pray to our gracious and merciful God. Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify your holy name, for there is none like you in all the earth. You alone are the Almighty God, full of power and all authority of things in heaven and in the earth. We come before you with humble hearts, recognizing the preciousness of the time you have given us. We acknowledge that our days are fleeting and that every moment is a gift from your hand. Forgive us for the times we have squandered our time on things that have no eternal value. We surrender to your will and your ways. We forgive those who have trespassed against us. Help us to number our days and make the most of every opportunity to glorify you. Lord, we pray for those who have yet to surrender their lives to you. We ask that you would convict their hearts and draw them close to you, that they too may come to know the joy of your salvation. May they recognize the urgency of getting right with you and embrace the saving grace through Jesus Christ. For those who are weary and burdened, we pray that they would find rest and peace in your presence. Father, we ask that you would help us to live each day with purpose and intentionality. May we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, trusting that you will provide for our every need. Help us to be faithful stewards of the time you have entrusted to us, using it to love you, serve others, and advance your kingdom. We pray for wisdom and discernment as we navigate the challenges and opportunities of life. May we be sensitive to the leading of your Holy Spirit and quick to obey your voice. Help us to prioritize our relationship with you above all else, knowing that in your presence we find fullness of joy. Lord, we thank you for the precious gift of time and the opportunity to walk with you each day. Guide our steps in the pathway of blessings and peace. May our lives be a testament to your goodness, grace, and faithfulness. And may we look forward with anticipation to the day when we will see you face to face and dwell in your presence forever. Lord, we trust in your word, for great is your faithfulness. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Colossians 1 verses 16 to 17 For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. 
my friend, God holds your tomorrow. We all know that life can be unpredictable. We face challenges, uncertainties, and fears that can shake us to our core. We worry about our health, our finances, our relationships, our future, and so much more. But in the midst of all these worries, we have a God who is greater than any problem we could ever face. My dear friends, I want to share with you a message of hope, a message that can bring peace to your heart and mind, no matter what you're facing today. That message is simple yet profound. God holds your tomorrow. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse reminds us that God is not caught off guard by our circumstances. He has a plan for each and every one of us, a plan that is good and full of hope. But sometimes it's hard to trust in that plan. We look at our present situation and wonder how God could possibly bring something good out of it. We feel like we're stuck in a dead-end job, a failing relationship, or a health crisis that seems impossible to overcome. But I want to remind you today that our God specializes in the impossible. Throughout the Bible, we see story after story of God doing the impossible. He parted the Red Sea for the Israelites. He shut the mouths of lions for Daniel. And he even raised Lazarus from the dead. Our God is a God of miracles. And he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So whatever you're facing today, I want to encourage you to trust in the God who holds your tomorrow. Don't let fear and worry consume you. Instead, cast your cares on him, knowing that he cares for you. As 1 Peter 5 verse 7 says, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. When we trust in God, we can have peace in the present and hope for the future. We can face each day with confidence, knowing that He is with us every step of the way. And even when we don't understand what He's doing, we can trust that His ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. I love the words of the old hymn that says many things about tomorrow. I don't seem to understand but I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand. That's the kind of trust and assurance we can have in our God. So today, I want to challenge you to surrender your tomorrow to God. Give Him your fears, your worries, and your doubts. Trust that He has a good plan for your life, even if you can't see it yet. And as you walk with Him day by day, Watch as he unfolds that plan in ways you never could have imagined. Remember, God is not limited by our circumstances. He is not surprised by our struggles. He is a good father who loves us more than we could ever understand, and he is holding your tomorrow in the palm of his hand. So take heart, my friends. Have courage and trust in the God who holds your future. He will never leave you or forsake you. He will guide you, strengthen you, and give you hope for all the days to come. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you, and may he give you peace now and always. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God.
Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of praise and adoration. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the creator of the heavens and the earth, and the author of my life. Your name is above all names, and your power knows no bounds. I exalt you, Lord, for you alone are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you for your unwavering love, your unending grace, and your constant presence in my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. Merciful Lord, forgive me for my sins for the times I have strayed from your path and sinned against you. I repent of my wrongdoings and ask for your mercy. As you have forgiven me, I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me. Lord, I acknowledge that you hold my tomorrow. No matter what challenges, uncertainties, or fears I may face, I trust in your divine plan for my life. I release my worries and anxieties into your capable hands, knowing that you have a purpose and a future filled with hope for me. I rebuke every spirit of fear, doubt, and unbelief in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind every force that seek to steal my peace and joy, and I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I pray for your healing touch upon my mind, body, and soul. I stand against every attack of the enemy, whether it be physical, emotional, or spiritual. In the name of Jesus, I claim victory over sickness, disease, depression, addiction, and every form of affliction. I declare that by your stripes I am healed and made whole. Lord, surround me with your protection and shield me from all harm. Deliver me from every snare and trap set by the enemy. Heavenly Father, I ask that you extend these same blessings upon my loved ones. Cover them with your divine protection and grant them peace, health, and prosperity. May they experience the abundance of your love and grace in their lives. I pray that you would draw them closer to you and strengthen their faith in you. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, believing that you hear our prayers and are working on our behalf. We claim victory over every challenge we face and we declare healing, restoration, and breakthrough in our lives. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and empower us to walk in your truth and righteousness. Guide our every step and help us to trust in your goodness, even when we don't understand your ways. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your loving kindness. We praise you for miracles you are performing in our lives, even now. We declare that no matter what tomorrow may bring, our hope and trust are in you alone. Let your will be done on earth and in our lives, as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit.
We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer, I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. I then encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.